all welcome back to my channel if you're new here i want to welcome you this is the dr shabai show and on this show we talk about relationships we talk about modern women we talk about feminism and how it's filled society but today i want to talk about modern women who treat men and marriage like a slot machine and i also want to say thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to my channel i truly truly appreciate it and everyone that has left a comment i try to respond to all of them but sometimes i miss them but again thank you so much but before we get started please like this video and subscribe to my channel so i really want to talk about this because it's just mind-blowing how many divorces and breakups I see across my social media and so we also know that there's a huge breakdown when it comes to modern day marriages and relationships and that a lot of men have left the marketplace especially in America or they've gone overseas but there's still a lot of men and women who are still out there trying to find the one and I feel like they just don't really understand what's going on and the reason why I compare modern women to slot machines because a lot of modern women are still chasing to get that big jackpot you know they may be married but they are constantly trying to see if they can get to the next level they may win a little bit but then they're gonna put that money in that slot machine and gamble whatever it is that they have away because they think they think they're gonna get the jackpot uh, there's an article that I'm gonna put that article in the description box but it talks about even women who find a really good guy that he educated he has money he's attractive he's over six feet they still feel like that's not enough like they still feel like they can get to the next level and that's why i compare it to a slot machine because you know how when you go to a slot machine and you think you're gonna win and then you put more money in and you're thinking oh my goodness i'm gonna win this big jackpot and then you look up and you realize you didn't win it but that's what i feel like a lot of women do they get this wonderful amazing guy that truly truly loves them and cherishes them but that's not good enough they feel like they can do better there is a level of delusion for a lot of women you know just because someone has sleeps with you does it make you attractive and I want to share with you this list that I found that talks about the reason why men get married it is like maybe 10 years old but I still think it's very relevant today so on the chart this is the number one reasons why men get married and number one is love which I truly believe number two is making a lifelong commitment and then the third one is companionship the fourth one is having children and then the next one is um, for religious reason and then the next one is financial security and then the last one is for legal rights and benefits so those are the reasons why they say that men get married and I believe that love is the number one because men typically when they're young they have no idea that the woman is not marrying for the number one reason for love they don't know that until later on after they get to know and understand how a lot of modern women think once i looked at that list i created a list myself the reasons why i feel like modern women are getting married and it's so interesting because you can't find anything that's honest about women and marriage as far as why they really get married. I mean, it is so sad because it's not truthful. This is my list and I would love to hear you all start on it if I'm missing something or if I should take something off. So the number one reason that modern women get married, I believe, is financial security. And so the second one is the legal benefits of marriage. That's why a lot of women want to get married because, you know, if something happens to their husband, they get the life insurance. And if they get divorced, they can get some alimony. And that ties into number three. So, of course, you know, it 
they have children, then she will be able to get child support. So I put a star because they want to make sure that when you get married, a lot of modern women make sure they have children right away. And they also make sure that um, they're married for at least a couple of years because I don't really know the law about alimony. But when you have kids, you definitely can get some child support. And then the number four is to make their life easier. You know, this is um, the difference between a modern woman and a traditional woman. A modern woman, the man is only supposed to work for her. But a traditional woman knows that her job is to serve her husband. It is in the Bible. It says to be submissive. It says to be a helpmate. And that's where uh, there's a big disconnect between traditional women and modern women. And then the final one is engagement and wedding. So we know that modern women love attention. That's why they're always on social media showing off their bodies and, you know, they want that attention. And so an engagement and a wedding puts the spotlight on them. There are even wedding now women are dancing like a stripper on a wedding day, you know, and their wedding day is supposed to be about honoring their husband and God and their new relationship. But some women are turning it into a dance that they do for their it's really not really for the husband because everybody's there. So it's just interesting the level of attention that modern women need. So the very first woman I want to look at who recently filed for divorce is Eva Marcel. I think that's how you say her name. And I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But she is a former model from American Top Model. And then she was also on the Housewives of Atlanta. Filed for divorce from Michael Sterling. And I know they haven't been married that long. The three things I know about her. She had a relationship previously that was very toxic. And she had a daughter from that relationship. And then she got married to Michael Sterling and had two kids like back to back pretty quickly. And then he adopted her daughter not that long ago the other thing i know about her is that when they first got married she wasn't even worth um two million dollars um but she started to make more money when she got married and now she's worth four million and michael sterling is also worth four million and it's interesting to me that she filed for divorce once she started making as much money as he's making. But what's interesting now, he is going to have to pay child support for three kids, you know, before he had none, you know. But it's just interesting. And he was worth way more than her. But now she's like right at the same level that he's at. And so the next couple I want to look at is Pam Anderson. Um, now, everyone knows who she is. She was on Baywatch. You know, she had a marriage with Tommy Lee that was always in the news. Um, but this last marriage she had was interesting because it wasn't that long. And he was a lot older than her. And they weren't married that long. But he paid off her debt before she filed for divorce. Now, I don't know what anybody else thinks, but I know for me, that is some, a woman who um, traded in to get more. You know, she went to someone who she knew that cared about her and she knew that he would be willing to do anything to make her happy. So she used him and got divorced. That should be a crime. And so the next couple is Tia Mori and her husband. We all know that she filed for divorce and he was begging for her to not to leave, which was really, really sad. And what I know about her relationship is that before they got married, Tia was making all of the money. And then he came into money maybe three or four years ago. So Koi is now a regular cast member on a very popular show and I believe that Tia is the perfect example of someone who wants to play that slot game and gamble with her family to figure out what who else is out there for her because she said the reason why she's getting as the fourth is because she graduated now 
I don't know what that means. I feel like she just said that to to make herself feel better because obviously there's no cheating. He seems like a really nice guy. He really loves her. And this was her family. So to me, to say that you graduated, to go where? To do what? And then this is a clear example of someone who feels like she can do better. Um, and then finally, the person that to me takes the cake as someone who used men and marriages as a slot machine is is Laura Sanchez. If you don't know who she is, you're going to know who she is after I show you who she is and what she has done. So let me just give you the background. This is a small peek into the dating history of Laura Sanchez. So Laura Sanchez used to be in a long-term relationship with Anthony Miller. And while she was dating Anthony, at a, they were at an event together. She met Tony and she actually had a child with Tony and they were living together. Then while she was dating him at the same time, she met actor Henry Simmons. So Henry was on the NYPD show. So she left Tony and to move in with Simmons. And they were together for about two years. And in fact, Sanchez and Henry actually were engaged living together. And her son was living in the apartment with her and Henry. So Lauren met her husband while she was still living with Henry. And so she just ups and leaves and takes her child and moves in with Patrick. And then they get engaged and they actually get married. Now, what's interesting is that she and her husband, Patrick, were good friends with Jeff Bezo and his wife. And I hope I'm saying his last name right. But I'm not, if I'm not, I do apologize. Um, so that is the history. So you see how she has gone from play person to person. And even before the other relationship was over, she just up and went with the other person so that's someone who is constantly looking for on that slot machine the jackpot so if you don't know now she is dating jeff bezo so in conclusion what i just showed you is why so many men are just done with modern women they're just done they're walking away they're just done and this seems to constantly show itself over and over and I know I am looking at just Hollywood but you have to believe that it happens in everyday life not maybe the people don't make as much money as these people but women do see themselves trying to get to another level with someone else especially if this person is pursuing them so this is my video i would love to hear what you think please keep the comments coming i truly truly appreciate it and thank you so so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so thank you this is the dr shabai show bye